families throughout Jewish history. Yet, there's something incredibly deep about this month that we, we learn about in Kabbalah. That the word itself, of, means father. And it's the, on the first of, of, we learn about Aaron, the high priest, that that is his, it's the only time in the Torah that we learn that there's the yortzet, there's the day of the passing. We commemorate the day of the passing where there's an elevation of Aaron, who's called an ish chesed, a man, the epitome of kindness in the world. So within, and father actually means kindness. So within the destruction, within the difficulty, there's a hidden light, there's a sweetening that Kabbalah talks about, that there's a sweetening of what we call the judgments. So according to the Arizal, uh, the, both, there's, both months that, of Tammuz and Av have to do with the right eye and the left eye. And the right eye is the month of Tammuz, and the left eye is the month of Av. And that's what Jeremiah says, Eini, Eini Yardam Maim, that my eyes, both eyes, are crying. Are crying for what? Crying over the destruction. But on a deeper level, that's what we're really fixing. We're, we're fixing the, the perception, and we're, we're fixing that sometimes we see that there is a father, there's a parent, whatever it is, that, that looks like it's, it's difficult for us with what uh, they're giving to us. And yet we have to understand that there's something deeper there, that there's something that the Father, our Father in Heaven, Hashem, is asking us, is beckoning us to look deeper to say that you know, that once we understand and once we basically inculcate the, the, the lesson of how to perceive basically the world, that's when we have that opening of, of the gate. So there's a beautiful teaching by the Bnei Saskar that tells us that again, going back to the Arizal, that each one of the months corresponds to a different uh, letter of the name of God and permutations of that, but also Yud Kei Vav Kei, but also Adnai, the name of God, which corresponds to the level of this world of Malchut. And we, when we spell it all out, Adnai, we have 12 letters. And the letters that correspond to Tammuz is Dalid, and, the, and for Av, it's Lamid, which spells out Dal, which means impoverished or poor. And on a spiritual level, that means that we are, um, that we're impoverished from that that great revelation that we've had in the temple in the temple days that abundance spiritual material shefa of abundance but all that is then bringing us to the next month which is elu which is the letter tough which is delit and it spells out delit which is an opening and that's what we say in elu ptach lanu petach ptach petach open open up a gate la dofkim b'tshuva for those who knock on the door for tshuva so during this month, right now, we, are, we have the, the opportunity to actually open up the door and to knock on the door, knock on heaven's door, and to really um, already have that opening happening within the month of, of that transformation, which uh, we learn actually happens more on the 15th of, of and onwards, but it could happen right away. So may we see the building of the Beit HaMikdash, of the temple within us and within all of creation, and have all the doors of, of he heaven open for us for a beautiful new year, blessed with incredible abundance and goodness on all levels. Wishing you many blessings.